watching Robofox. In this video, we will discuss about motors. Motors which are used to make thrust during flight. So how to choose motors for a drone? Let's begin this session with our drone expert Abhay Singh Lodi. Hello everyone, I am Abhay Singh Lodi and you are watching Robofox. And in this particular video, we are going to talk about how to choose the best motor for your quadcopter. Well, where do you start? When looking for motors for the quadcopter, the first step you should be have to the knowledge of the total weight of your copter. Approximate weight can be estimated by the considering all the components of the your quadcopter. First, when you calculate the weight of the your quadcopter, then it will be easy to select your motor. So now take a look on the how we can select our motor or which parameters which we can use so take a look on it first to weight ratio the one rule of thumb for choosing motors ideally your drone should be able to hover in mid-air at about half throttle it means that when you choose the apt motor for your drone it should be able to produce 50 percent more thrust than the multi-copter your quadcopter will have to remain stable and function when even in time of slightly windy condition. Let us give an example. Suppose you have quadcopter frame with the total weight of components around 800 grams. In this situation, the quadcopter motor should be efficient enough to produce a thrust about 400 grams, each or totally of 1.6 kg on the whole. This is a great rule to keep in mind when you choosing motor because if you want to efficient drone it need to be able function even in the hardest condition if you are consider mini cord then a lightly will be the most important feature for this you would need motors with high thrust to weight ratio a powerful motor is key here as it will help your drone performance what it is likely primarily function on the other hand if you are keep on drone photography you could make do with a lower thrust to weight ratio this is because with the less type of drones you would be fly much more gently these drones require smooth stable flight to take high quality pictures and videos this gives you another advantage as well since it saves a lot of weight on the frame efficiency of the motor once we are clear about our stance on the thrust to weight ratio it is now important to move on the efficiency of the motor before we start what do you mean by the efficiency of the motor it is nothing but the ratio of the thrust produced to the power used a motor efficiency motor will thus produce use less power when creating thrust the motor efficiency of uh, totally depends is uh, longer it is like to fly that means more the thrust produced by the motor as compared to the power unit lies the smoother and longer will be your flight motor efficiency is the key of prolonging your drone flight so it is very important factor to make into account Ideally, a motor with the efficiency or 7 or higher might be good idea. However, there are certain larger motor that work with an efficiency of 18. This is epically useful for copters that are used for aerial photography as you have your drone to be in the air as long as possible to get the perfect shot. On the other hand, if you choose to make your drone do a few aerobatic turn in air and have angle movements you might want to opt the motor with higher rpm in this case the efficiency will be slightly reduced but your drone will be quicker in a nutshell the amount of motor efficiency you need entirely depends of the your mode of the use motor movement the movement of the drone like quadcopter involves the movement of the two motors in a clockwise direction will two others move in an anti-clockwise direction that ensures the highly stable of the motors and effectively of the device. You might wonder that 
what it might be like if you install motors that move in same direction. As a matter of fact, it will be entirely possible to attach four matter to your quadcopter, all moving clockwise or anti-clockwise. But it is not a good idea for course. This would make it rather hard to fly an object as it would be as responsive to the direction you want to it go. So for smoother flight characteristic you need to buy a pair of motors that would move work in clockwise and another pair that moves anti-clockwise. Luckily most quadcopter motors you purchase will contain two of each. Pole count. Next up is the pole count of the motor. You might have two options in the regards. First is the quadcopter motor with the higher pole count. This will require more voltage during its flight but produce a greater motor torque. But with these conditions comes the lower RPM of the motor. Ideally, it is the best to use larger blades with these propeller or motor devices. On the other hand, you could choose a motor with a lower pole count is achieving a higher RPM but these devices will then require smaller blades coming with a smaller torque or lift of the ground more than than lot. Quadcopter are usually seen motor with higher pole counts in the order to eliminate the necessity of the gearbox. As with any choice you make with a die quadcopter, it will depend internally on your needs and preferences. KV value. The next big question at hand is the KV values of the motor or RPM voltage. As we understand from the previous point, the higher the pole count, the lower will be the KV value. By KV value, we basically refer to a constant that gives us the RPM of the motor, which a potential difference of 1 volt is applied across the motor. Propeller motor combination. It is often a common belief that one should choose the propeller first and then go about choosing the motor. That worked well with them. If you opt for larger propeller blades, you would be generating more thrust, higher acceleration and more stable flight. Larger propeller blades are going to be around 12 inches in size. With these blades, the drone can be carry heavy camera equipment and the best suitable aerial photography. On the other hand, the shorter propeller blades are leading greater speed and are the excellent choice for mini quad and quad racing where again is important along with some aerobatics move. I hope I give you some important information to choosing your drone motor. If you like the video, like, subscribe and share. We will continue uploading our drones, IoT and robotics related video in this channel. So, signing off. We are Robofox and we believe in robotics. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you.